For 50 years, this was one of the grandest challenges in all of biology. It's called the protein folding problem. How do proteins fold up? How do proteins go from a string of amino acids to a compact shape that acts as a machine and drives life? When you find out about proteins, it is very exciting. You could think of them as little biological nanomachines. They are essentially the fundamental building blocks that power everything living on this planet. If we can reliably predict protein structures using AI, that could change the way we understand the natural world. Protein folding is one of these holy grail type problems in biology. Inside every living thing, these long chains of amino acids twist and fold into perfect complex shapes to carry out nearly every task of life. Figuring out how they do it was a puzzle that stumped the greatest minds on the planet. A single mistake in the fold can lead to diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. For decades, napping just one of these structures could take years of painstaking lab work. This is so annoying, man. Then, in 2020, an AI called AlphaFold did the impossible. We've been working on our system AlphaFold really hard now for over two years. Rather than having to do painstaking experiments, in the future, biologists might be able to instead rely on AI methods to directly predict structures quickly and efficiently. It learned to predict the final intricate shape of a protein from its simple chemical sequence alone. It didn't just get close. It solved the problem with staggering accuracy, cracking a biological enigma that had held back medicine for half a century. This wasn't just a small step forward. It was a leap into a new era of discovery. And it reveals a startling truth. An invisible revolution is already underway, where artificial intelligence is becoming the most powerful tool humanity has ever built. But this revolution isn't just about understanding the code of life inside us. What's truly mind-bending oh my god, wow! is that this same fundamental technology is now being pointed outwards to decode the secrets of the entire cosmos. Modern astronomy has a big data problem, an almost impossibly big one. Looks like we got a problem. Telescopes like the James Webb or ground-based sky surveys generate more data in a single night than you could look through in a thousand lifetimes. It's a torrential flood of information, and hidden within it are clues to the nature of reality. For a human astronomer, sifting through this cosmic noise to find the faint signal of a new planet or a strange galaxy is like trying to find one specific grain of sand on every beach on Earth. But for an AI, this data deluge isn't a problem. It's lunch. Lunch time. Machine learning algorithms are now our cosmic detectives. They are trained on millions of images of known celestial objects, learning to spot the telltale signs of things we're looking for. A tiny, recurring dip in a star's light. An AI can flag that as a potential exoplanet passing in front of its sun. Artificial intelligence is helping to revolutionize astronomy. The latest AI machine learning software can now identify objects from telescope images such as stars and galaxies, as well as aiding the discovery of new celestial objects. As the technology advances, AI algorithms are becoming essential in helping astronomers tame massive data sets and make new discoveries about the universe. In fact, AI has already been responsible for discovering thousands of new worlds orbiting distant stars. It gets even stranger. AIs are finding things we didn't even know to look for. They can identify bizarre gravitational lenses, where the gravity of a massive galaxy warps space-time itself, acting like a cosmic magnifying glass. They can classify millions of galaxies in the blink of an eye, and even spot anomalies in the data that point to completely new unexplained physical phenomena. It's a fundamental shift. Instead of a lone astronomer staring through an eyepiece, we now have silent, tireless partners scanning the entire universe on our behalf, pointing out the wonders we would have otherwise missed. So AI can help us see what's already out there, in the vastness of space. But what if we could use it to create things that have never existed, to design the very building blocks of our future world? For most of human history, discovering new materials was a slow, messy process of trial, error, and often sheer luck. Think of vulcanized rubber or stainless steel, game-changing discoveries that took decades of tinkering. We're trying to find the perfect recipe, but there are more possible combinations of elements on the periodic table than there are atoms in the known universe. We could never test them all. But now, we don't have to. AI is turning material science from a game of chance into a predictive science. Imagine you need a new material for a revolutionary battery. You want something lightweight that can hold a massive charge and is made from cheap, abundant elements. Instead of mixing chemicals in a lab for years, you can now just ask an AI. 
Scientists are now training machine learning models on the known properties of every material we've ever created. The AI learns the deep, complex rules that connect a material's atomic structure to its real-world behavior. It learns why steel is strong and why glass is brittle. Armed with this knowledge, it can run the process in reverse. It can computationally screen millions of hypothetical materials that have never existed, predicting their properties with incredible accuracy. It's like a super-powered materials chef that knows the taste of a dish just by looking at the recipe. This is already leading to breakthroughs in designing more efficient solar cells, more powerful magnets for fusion reactors, and self-healing plastics. AI is not just finding new materials, it's ushering in an age of on-demand materials, custom designed at the molecular molecular level to solve our biggest engineering challenges. And this ability to design from the ground up isn't just limited to tiny molecules, it's being scaled up to completely reinvent the way we build everything around us. Look at this part. It's a bracket for an airplane. It looks normal. It was designed by a skilled human engineer. Now look at this one. It performs the same job, it's 40% lighter, and it's significantly stronger. It looks like something straight out of science fiction. This part was designed by an AI. This is the mind-bending world of generative design. It's a radical new partnership between human and machine. An engineer doesn't draw the part anymore. Instead, they act as a teacher. They tell the AI the rules of the game. Here are the points where the part needs to connect. It can't weigh more than this, and it needs to withstand this much force. Then the AI takes over. It explores thousands, sometimes millions of possible designs, constantly refining and improving. It's like running evolution on hyperspeed, where only the fittest, most efficient designs survive. The results are often completely counterintuitive and look more like natural bone growth than anything man-made. This same intelligence is being embedded into the world itself. In our cities, AI is becoming a digital nervous system. It analyzes the vibrations and stress on a bridge in real time, predicting a potential structural failure weeks or even months before it happens, allowing us to fix it before disaster strikes. This is called predictive maintenance, and it's making our infrastructure safer and more resilient. It can optimize the flow of an entire city's traffic to reduce congestion or manage a nation's power grid to seamlessly integrate renewable energy from wind and solar. The AI isn't just designing the objects in our world, it's becoming the invisible intelligence that manages it. From the microscopic to the metropolitan, AI is a tool for building a better, more efficient world. But perhaps its most urgent mission is to help us understand and protect the one we already have. Predicting the future of our planet's climate is one of the most complex challenges science has ever faced. The Earth is a chaotic system of interconnected variables. Ocean currents, atmospheric chemistry, ice cover, solar radiation. Simulating this with traditional computers requires immense supercomputing power, and even then, the models have their limits. One major challenge is that the models use only single values of temperature, humidity, and other variables to describe conditions within the entire grid box. For example, they ignore the temperature difference between Palo Alto and Stockton which are 100 kilometers apart. Another is that models have to be initialized, but even with our most sophisticated observation systems, getting the right starting points in each grid box is really difficult. AI is giving us a much needed upgrade to our planetary dashboard. Machine learning models are being fed a constant stream of real world data from satellites, ocean buoys, and weather stations. They're learning to see patterns in this global chaos that are too subtle for humans to detect. For example, an AI can analyze satellite imagery to track deforestation with pinpoint accuracy, or measure the rate at which polar ice is thinning far more effectively than previous methods. This provides more accurate real-time data to feed back into our climate models, making them more reliable. But maybe the most crucial role for AI is in downscaling. A global climate model might predict that a region will get on average hotter and see more rain. That's useful, but not actionable. AI can take that big picture prediction and downscale it, forecasting with terrifying precision which specific neighborhoods in a coastal city are most at risk of flooding during an extreme weather event. This gives communities and governments the specific localized information they need to prepare to build sea walls or to reinforce infrastructure. It's the difference between a vague warning and a life-saving action plan. 
AI is becoming our planetary diagnostician, giving us a clearer picture of the challenges ahead. But as we hand over more of our most complex problems to these powerful systems, it raises a critical and slightly unsettling question. Do we actually understand how they're coming up with the answers? This brings us to one of the deepest mysteries at the heart of the AI revolution, the black box problem. When AlphaFold predicts a protein structure, or a generative model designs a new jet engine part, it works. The answer is correct. But if you ask the AI why it made the specific decisions it did, it can't tell you. Many of today's most powerful AI models, particularly deep neural networks, are so complex that even the engineers who built them don't fully understand their internal reasoning. The logic is distributed across millions or even billions of interconnected nodes in a way that is not transparent to human inspection. Data goes in, a brilliant answer comes out, but the process in the middle is an enigma. For low stakes applications, like recommending a song, this isn't a big deal. But for science and engineering, it's a huge challenge. Would you trust a medical diagnosis from an AI that couldn't explain its reasoning? Would you board a plane whose wing was designed by an algorithm that operates on a logic we can't comprehend? This lack of interpretability is a major barrier. Scientists and engineers don't just want the right answer, they want to understand the underlying principles to gain new knowledge. Researchers are now working on a new field called explainable AI, or XAI, trying to design systems that can show their work. It's a critical step because for AI to truly be a partner in our scientific journey, we need to be able to have a conversation with it. We need to be able to ask it, why? 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 From the inner workings of our cells to the outer reaches of the cosmos, AI is emerging not as a replacement for human ingenuity, but as its ultimate amplifier. It's a computational microscope and telescope in one, allowing us to see the world with a clarity we've never had before. It handles the monumental tasks of sifting through data and running millions of simulations, freeing up human scientists and engineers to do what they do best, to be curious, to ask the big questions, and to use their intuition to guide the path of discovery. We are at the very beginning of this new scientific revolution. The challenges are real, but the potential is breathtaking. This is the dawn of a symbiotic age, a future where human creativity, guided and accelerated by artificial intelligence, might finally unlock solutions to our oldest and greatest challenges. If you enjoyed this journey into the future of science, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the technologies shaping our world. Thanks for watching.